Okay, welcome back. I went back and looked at the, the video, made sure this was the way to go. In fact, it was, and then after I couldn't get over that, I was like, well, there's that wall over there, so let's try the Super Dash, and the Super Dash works, so here we are trying to make some progress in the Hollow Knights, and I am honestly kind of worn out right now. Whoa, don't fall off. Just because of all the platforming. And it looks like that one's not going to be too bad. Hopefully it doesn't spawn us down below if we fuck up. Like, back on the other side, because that would suck. Because, like, if it puts us on the other side, that would just be a long way to come back, you know? Uh, let's see. Oh, what the fuck? Okay, good. I had hit really low there. Oh, I can go over to the other side, okay. How? Okay. Oh, what the fuck now? Why? I was really hoping it would just like, you know, if I hit the top of it, it would force me down and push me through, and it didn't. Ah, that was way too slow. I need to dash over something. Nope, dashing doesn't work either. Okay, now we can show you how this works, though. You see the, the hive guard or whatever. It's not going to regenerate my next health, it's just going to go up to here. Then I have to manually heal this one, but it's still a regenerating health, which is pretty good. Oh man, I already... Nope, that's a miss! Oh, I still went for it! This is actually good though, because this gives you a little breather in between trying... trying... Playing. My mouth is so tired. Trying again. You know, it gives you some self-pacing. I like, hey, we understand this can be frustrating, so here you go. I'm gonna say, where do I have to... Oh, man. Oh, why? I got juke so hard. Juke so hard, motherfuckers want to find me. Oh, man. But again, you see what I'm saying? It's like, what what makes that section hard? Is it the actual jumps, or is it the fact that you have to come back? You know? Because you can't touch the ground. Oh, that's, what the fuck? Ah, oh, it was, fuck. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. It was a little lower than I thought it was. I was looking at the thing, too, because you can see where it's going to come out. And then I thought I just had more space than I did. We're almost there, though. And what's nice is we do have Hive Guard, so... Like I was saying before, you really can't fail. That's a miss. Yeah, since you have Hive Guard and you can't fail, that's good. But at the same time, it's really just... At this point, since we can't fail... It's really just about getting through here. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'll take that. I'll take that hit any day. Thank you, Bumper Beetles, for helping us there. <laughs> you know, so we don't get fucked up. I'm pretty sure this goes back down to where we were, so I'm not gonna... Oh, I'm not gonna make that trip. Oh, what? What am I doing? I'll just make sure I die. There you go. Just don't... Don't fuck with it. In that situation, if I hit a platform and I get trapped down below again, I'd be so... I'd be so sad. But yeah, like I said, since we can't fail, it's really just about grinding it out at this point. You know, it's how many times you want to throw yourself at it. What's this? Okay. Oh, what the fuck? I didn't think I'd... You know, I took my hand off the controller because I was expecting Bramble. Just to end me and put me back here. And yeah, there comes a point with games too when you get like so just sad and irritated or whatever that you just become the darkest dungeon ancestor where you just you know you run through the darkest halls under your your manor screaming and cackling until uh fatigue takes you or whatever he says. Until what is it, consciousness failed me? That's what it is. Yep. It is a festering abomination. 
I'm not super dashing in there, I'm sorry. I don't even know what was above me, I just... I'm taking it. Oh, man. Looks like I'm under the palace now. Oh, this guy looks a little bigger. You see this up here that's like glitching out? Is that a gate? Nothing? Just a corpse? I mean, I'm happy to be back to some some good old fashioned, just regular, uh, no spiky jumps and some combat. Not this. This, uh, this soul crushing platforming that was happening. Yeah, once I found the hive guard set up, it was just. It took a lot of the stress off at the same time, it was just. You know, like I was saying, just about grinding it out. Just keep doing it over and over until you get it. Not what I was expecting. I was waiting for some big burly dude. This is probably the, the king, obviously. No cost too great. Nothing. Ooh. Higher being. No blazing kin. Blazing. Only one light shall shine against the dark. The worm becomes beacon, minds expanded to yield to devote. Eternity and promise and charge in progency or progeny cursed. Other secrets? The time to fight the king. Alright, lay it on me, dude. I don't have an ideal setup, but Are we continuing with our no bosses thing, which is pretty cool? There's the other half. The king's soul. Oh, is it taking me out? Thank goodness. Oh, wake me up inside. Soul of worm, soul of root, heart of void. I need to move my mouse. You can actually see my mouse cursor. It's probably me in like the entire video for the first few minutes. Oh, holy shit. Get me out. <laughs> We're not having the upgraded range either. Okay, so for the lore aspect, that place was really cool. And for the the fun aspect, not very. Five notches. Holy charm symbolizing a union between higher beings. The bearer will slowly absorb the limitless soul contained within. Opens the way to a birthplace. So I probably have to put this on and then go down below. What is this? The bearer will slowly absorb the limitless soul. So does that mean if I'm walking around in the void, it's going to constantly, or the abyss or whatever, it's going to fill up my, uh, my soul meter? Is that what it's going to do? And do you even start with five notches, or do they make you actually find one before you can uh, use that thing? That'd be interesting. Probably not. It seems like and try and make sure that there are some things that you don't need to, you know, collect stuff for to be able to do. And I remember uh, my friend who saw the, I think he saw the speedrun of this at SGDQ or something, but he's talking to me about it and there's like, they said something where if they, or if you know, like the speedrunner, I guess, because I didn't watch it, I made sure not to watch it even though I wanted to. But the, uh, the guy said something like, you know, if you know how to wall jump or something, you'll never have to, or like, there's a certain jump you can do, you'll never have to get the double jump kind of thing. But they're talking about birthplaces, which is only one spot for us. It's the abyss. My voice is going out right now. I can completely feel it. Like, it's not even congestion, it's just, it's getting hoarse. Because I've recorded for about three hours now, which is more than I normally do. Usually I stop after about two, but I just punch my headset. I am having, I'm having fun. I'm making progress, and I know that it took a little bit of, uh, what you call it? It did take, I bet you it's in that bottom 
left part that we couldn't open. Like that little block, I bet you it's that. Yeah, it, like I said, I do enjoy this game, but finishing it does take some... Why do I have Grub Song if I can constantly get soul out of the void? What the fuck am I doing with my life? Oh well. I think it's over this way. Oops. Yeah, so, what a... I'm probably in that middle part. Yeah, so, what was I saying? Oh yeah. Um, like I said, I really enjoy playing this game, despite the last couple episodes being this Gurfest, you know? But despite that, it really does take some motivation for me to boot this game up sometimes. Because I, like I said, even though I'm really enjoying it, and I love this game to death, I really do. It's my game of the year, it's one of my probably top five favorite games ever. I, what is it, I, I feel it more of a chore right now. And I'm not trying to have that bleed over into what I'm saying, but that's been my, my hesitation right now in finishing it. Or I shouldn't say my hesitation, like the reason I'm not finishing this game quickly, you know? But as I said, I'm really enjoying it, so I'm just trying to finish it right now. And I'm just kind of filling dead time with bullshit, because I don't know what else to say. I've talked about a lot of the stuff I have prepared. Uh, oh, you know what? You guys, since I'm sure some of you don't watch Darkest Dungeon or whatever, I... What is it? I got an A in my summer class, so I was happy about that. Oh, you see? It is filling up. That's so cool. Yeah, so I got an A in my summer class. Worked really hard for it. The only thing I kind of slacked on was my paper, so I don't know what my paper grade was, but... I got a 93 on my midterm. Uh, it was a history class, if I didn't say. I think I might have said, but... Yeah, I got an A on my midterm. I got 93%. And then, I think I did better on the final. You know, I studied... I studied more for the midterm. My D-pad just stopped going left on that jump. I don't know if you can see it right there. I was holding left and it just went whoop, and just went straight. But, um... Yeah, so I had... You know, thorns might be good. Actually, we only have one slot left. I can probably just jump straight down, but I don't know where to go, so I'm just gonna play it safe. Yeah, so I studied the most for my, my midterm. And it's funny too, the chapter I studied the most was uh, American Populism, which was in like, I don't know, the 1870s or something like that? I forget, with the Farmers Alliance and stuff like that, and it led to the Progressive Movement. And I studied that the most, because I felt like I I mean, I feel like I knew it, but then it was the one chapter in the book that I went back and I reread the chapter and went through all the notes. I studied that chapter the most, and that was the worst I did on the test, was that question, when it came to uh, populism. So I was kind of like, I don't know, man, maybe I should just not overdo it. You know, I kind of, I overstudy, which is, that is a thing I feel like, where I can... There are things... I don't... Okay, let me say it like this. I... My brain does a pretty good job of kind of retaining, you know, certain ideas. And sometimes a little bit of studying is really good because it kind of fleshes out those ideas and connects them and stuff like that, which is really good. And then there are... And then if I overstudy, I just forget, like, a lot of the connections I made. If that makes sense. I don't know. I... I really do do better on tests when I don't uh, overstudy and I don't study too much, you know. It's more if I just get a good refresher. So it's kind of one of those situations where you have to understand how your mind works. No? I was told to come to the... I was told to come to the abyss. And the abyss is not having me right now. Well, what else is there? To the right. Oh, is there a door up there? You see that on the the middle on the left side? Did I miss that? That might have been a door. Alright. It's not like we're missing anything because we get all this infinite soul, which is pretty good. Which I kind of like that. I like that there's a charm that represents an area. It's pretty fun. 
It makes you feel powerful, you know, you get these two halves of the king and queen. Which I'm glad that the king wasn't a boss. You know, I thought that was... I like that they did that. I know that uh, someone told me that the Dreamers were originally intended to be bosses, but I actually like that they aren't... I'm sure some people want, you know, more big baddies, but... The reason I like it is because it's... What is it? You can... Like I was saying before, you can really free up some design space. You can make things like... Where you can have a hard level instead of, you know... A kinda hard level and then a kinda hard boss. You know, you can make the, the level stand out as the encounter and not the, the foe. Oh, I wanna get over... Okay. Yeah. Really wish I had my compass. Because I have no idea where the fuck I'm at. So, worst comes to worst, I'll jump back up and get the compass, but... Yeah. Yeah, so it's really cool that they do that. Oh, maybe I need to go here. Yeah, that's what it looks like. A deep blue stone atop a dais. Do I not have it? Oh, what the fuck? I was supposed to come to the abyss, that's what I was told. I can't open this. Ah. Oh. I mean, I guess we'll go back down to the right. Because I can't open the bottom left, I can't open this door. I don't think I was supposed to have anything else on. You know, the only thing that... Like, this might work. But I think I need an item to put in there, like a key. That's kind of what I'm thinking. I have one spot left in my, my inventory, too. Oh, I have two Palors. Damn, if I could find a third? Because I don't think the third's in the Coliseum. I didn't say that I get a Palor. So there's one more somewhere, which means I can get that last nail upgrade, which I'm assuming is the last. I don't know how they can hide four more Palors in this world. You know, or even one or two. Well, one, yeah, not, not two. Yeah, we're kind of running out of spaces. Uh, let's go down, I guess. We'll check the... We'll check that mirror tower deal down below. And that'll be probably the last of it. And if I can't find it, I'll try and do some spoiler-free searching. So like I said, I have a comment that told me to go to... Uh, what is it? Palace Grounds, the Abyss, and that might open the way to what I'm looking for. And so into the Palace Grounds, we're in the Abyss, and I can't open that door. But yeah, so the, the summer class went pretty well. They said the final was easier than the, the midterm for me. And it was nice too, because once you get to a certain point in, you know, history or whatever, life gets easier because it starts becoming more recent and a little easier to understand because, you know, you lived it. You know, I'm, I'm kind of older than a lot of the students. I'm 30. And I'm in, you know, school with a lot of uh, younger people, which is fine. It doesn't bother me. But, uh, you know, the advantage I have is when we get to the 90s and we start talking about Bill Clinton and George W. Bush, you know, this is American history and, you know, the various Middle Eastern wars and stuff like that. I already... Like, I did not have to study for, you know, the Bill Clinton section for anything, you know, Afghanistan, Iraq. I didn't have to... or Iraq, I apologize. Um, yeah, I didn't have to study for any of those. I kind of looked through it to see what she wanted me to know, but I never had to go, oh, I really have to read this over and check my notes. It's like, no, I knew it happened. I remember all this shit. And go figure, she didn't really ask. Uh, what you call it? Much on that stuff, and you could kind of tell because my teacher herself said that she doesn't like to focus, or she doesn't like to really go too hard on history that's less than 50 years old. And her reasoning was because the the more time that passes, the more evidence she can find, and you know, more more analysis happens, so history becomes a little more clear. You know, it's kind of hard to call it. I mean, you can call it history, but it's kind of hard to define and understand in the heat of the moment kind of deal. You know, if it's only like 10 years old, there isn't too much on it yet. You know, too much that's good and credible.
Yeah, I don't know where to go. We'll just have to go to the Chozo statue again. And get cradled. Yeah. Was I supposed to... No, that's where I got the Monarch Wings. Because Ancient Basin's above us. I was literally told to go to the, uh, the Abyss. So I'm in the top of that tower right now, and I can go to the right. Let's just try that one more time. You know, maybe there's something there. Maybe I can super dash off this and make it. Sorry, you know it's over here. Maybe I'm supposed to go somewhere else. You know, they're talking about place of birth. What is that? Right, what the fuck is that? Up there. Are they supposed to go on top of the... Hmm. Interesting. That's something I have not seen before. So I'm wondering how we actually get up there. Yeah, we can try this. Maybe this will work. Hmm. I don't know. I feel like maybe I should just dash off the tower, but I can't get on the other side of it. Which I'm thinking I have to. But we'll we'll try that next. That'll be our next thing. Okay. Chozo. I am chosen. Chozo in. Damn it. See, you can dash through these hazards, but not those fucking saw blades. Saw blades OP. Well, you know, you can also be like, well, Shuffle, those are, uh, these are shadow beasts. You're trying to dash through a solid object. That, they're different. Ugh. Okay. I see ya. I have to make some lunch, too. I might just do some Top Ramen. My girlfriend got me hooked again on Top Ramen, which is pretty funny. Because she... What is it? She made... She's a really good cook, too. Oh, my voice cracked, but yeah, she's a really good cook. I feel like she makes some really cool stuff, you know? She does some simple stuff like eggs and whatever, you know, just various normal stuff that you're used to, and the, uh... The stuff she did... that, you know, recently that I really liked that she's done. I really wish I had the extended nail. No, oh, that's probably the true Hollow Knight right there. What the fuck? I don't get any fucking lift off this nail. <sighs> oh, come on! Oh, I want to see the other side of it. This is such a cock tease. Because if I could see the other side of it, I could know if I could even jump off the other side like I want to. Oh, that I didn't hold down. No! No! Well, I mean, I did it. I don't know what else I could do there. Like, what is this? How do I get in there? I can't dash in. I can kind of jump off. Can't open my map. What the fuck? What is it? Oh, I don't know, dude. I'm gonna have to look up a, a thing. I don't know where to go. Kind of stuck. You're gonna call it spoilerish. I don't know. Maybe I'll just wait. Maybe I will just. Maybe this will be the last Hollow Knight for a little bit. Then I'll upload it, and then I'm sure someone's gonna tell me where to go. And then that'll be kind of how I do it. So to the abyss. I went to the palace grounds. I went over here. I can't open that door. I thought I need the king's thing to get through. It's talking about places of birth. Maybe I can... I don't know. I'm out of ideas. I'm I'm done, though. I, uh, I need to edit. I need to fucking... Oh, I have so much stuff to do. I have to go to the bank. I have to go... I have to call my credit card company. I have to go to... Hopefully get my car serviced. So, I have stuff to do, and I gotta edit, and I gotta do... Yeah. I'm, okay, I'm done. Oh, and I'm tired too, so it's probably a good place to stop. So next time, I know this one was a little shorter, uh, next time hopefully we can find out where to go, and then just progress with the game, 
So thank you for watching, and I will see you later. Wait, no, 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 what was I going to say? Okay. But yeah, with Top Ramen, there we go. So my girlfriend, one of the things she makes is she'll do like Top Ramen dishes. she will cut up like some chicken, celery, carrots, onion, stuff like that, and throw it together, and it's really tasty. And I could cook some chicken. I don't think I have any chicken on me right now, like in the fridge, but... Uh, I do have Top Ramen. So, probably going to make a Top Ramen. That'll be lunch. And now we're done. So yeah, thanks for watching. Next time stuff. See you later.